we're gonna make some seafood stuffed shells to go with the vodka sauce. For the vodka sauce, you start with an onion and some garlic and a combination of olive oil and butter. Melt the butter into the oil. When the butter foams, add the onion, cook it low and slow until it's very soft and sweet. You don't wanna brown the onions. Then we're going to add one cup of vodka. I roll with Tito's. And we're going to add in a little chili flake, or I think even more palatable, a little chili paste. This is Italian Calabrian chili paste. I'm gonna put in a little spoonful of that. Of course, we're going to put in a large can of tomatoes, whole crushed or diced, nice sweet Italian tomatoes. I'm gonna tear in a little basil, and that's the sauce. For the seafood, before we make our filling with the ricotta, the parm, and the egg, we have to cool and we have to cook and cool the seafood. I have a few scallops cut into quarters, sea scallops. I have a few, a little handful of shrimp that I've chopped. And I have uh, oh, about a half a pound of lump crab meat. <laughs> to the pan with oil and butter again, I am cooking off the shrimp and the scallops. I'm adding thyme. And I'm using dry vermouth too because in uh, Italian kitchens, we think the dry vermouth, which is just fortified white wine, dry vermouth takes out the smell of seafood in your house. Add a little dry vermouth, let that cook out completely, and then you're going to combine it with the crab. Back here, I have some cooled cooked seafood. I'm gonna add that to ricotta cheese, one egg, and Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, and a little bit of nutmeg. These are nice big boys. I'm gonna overstuff 16 shells, and I'm going to get ready to add our mascarpone to our sauce. We'll meet you right back here in a couple. Hey everybody. So for the Valentine's meal this year, I took a classic, a vodka cream sauce. Instead of cream, I wanted to make it a little thicker because we're going to set it underneath and on top of giant oh. stuffed shells. Can eat those right now? Filled with seafood. They're not cooked yet, sweetheart. Oh. Overstuff the shells, like really. Oh! oh. <laughs> to go for a little swim. You, you couldn't do that if you tried. The only way that could happen was by accident. You're gonna have to make me another one is the bottom line there. Yep. Anyway, we have the overstuffed shells, which I'll leave on the tray. And I want it a little bit I'm thicker. I'm gonna cover my drink if you don't mind. A little bit thicker. Oh, honey, it, we are married. We have to share and share alike. It's our drink now. <laughs> Okay, um, I wanted the sauce to be a little thicker, so instead of heavy cream, I added some <coughs> mascarpone cheese. Very creamy, very sweet, a luxurious way to finish off our sauce. It gives it this nice blush. So we're going to arrange our shells in the dish and dot the top with a little more sauce and sprinkle it with parm, throw it into the oven. I cook it covered to heat them through, about 20 minutes. Then I take the top off and let them brown up a little bit at the edges. Uh, and the parm cheese that we put up on top. So mine will only have 15, but I have another one in the oven that has all 16 shells in it. <laughs> we'll show you what it looks like when we come back. <laughs> so John actually has a tradition. He only eats carbonara on Valentine's Day, which is what I'll be making later. But you can have a pasta appetizer as well, Pasta honey. and pasta? Yeah, I think that people will love this. It's my old, you won't be single for long, vodka cream pasta sauce. But instead of just spaghetti, we have it mm, underneath and over top of these beautiful seafood stuffed shells. And stuffed shells are such a like back in the day. Yeah, like... they're a classic. A little sprinkle of parsley, a little extra cheese for you, because I know you. I'm cheesy. You're a very cheesy fella. 